I'm Beth Quillian with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, and I'm here on the Willamette River today with Eddie from the Oregon State Marine Board to talk about boating safety for hunters and anglers. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Beth. Good morning. Thanks for having me up. Today. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Of course. This is a great opportunity to talk about safety considerations for people who want to get out on the water, whether they're hunting, angling, or just boating. So sure. I'd love to dive into it. And if you can kick it off by introducing yourself a bit more, that'd be great. Absolutely. And again, like Beth said, my name is Ed Persichetti with the Oregon State Marine Board. Uh, we do everything boating at our agency. And with hunting season coming up, we really appreciate the opportunity to talk about boating safety. What can we do to keep you safe on the water? And so forth and so on. So if it's okay with you, Beth, we'll talk about a few safety devices and kind of use some uh, examples of what may happen on the water. Let's uh, do it. I, I think what happens a lot when when people tend to go hunting, especially on riverbanks and on boats, is they forget that they have now shifted from hunting to boating, mm -hmm. and they're two totally different things, mm -hmm. right? Um, the question I ask myself all the time when I go into water is, is uh, how am I going to get home at night? right? Because things happen and they happen really fast. Yeah. Um, when people go hunting, of course, you're going to bring your firearm and most likely be wearing camouflage and all that stuff and, and different uh, st styles of clothing to keep mm -hmm. yourself warm and factor in the weather. But uh, the bottom line is safety devices. Do you have a life jacket? You know, and, and I'll ask you that right now. If you were to go hunting right now, would you bring a life jacket? If I was just hunting, no. Exactly, right? <laughs> just point in case. So there yeah. we go. That's number one. Number two, uh, camouflage. You're wearing green. I'm wearing uh, admittedly dark clothing right now, mm -hmm. but do you have something bright? You know, I mean, if you fall yeah. in the water or even... You want right, to be seen. You want to be seen, yeah. And we're in a bank right now, but mm -hmm. what if a boat came around this corner and our boat is gray? It blends in with the water. I'm wearing gray right now. Am I going to be seen, especially at sunset or sunrise? Mm -hmm. Most likely not, yeah. right? So these are these are basic questions you need to ask yourself. Uh, I'm a family man. Uh, I love my family very much, and I want to see them every day I possibly can. And simple things like life jackets and whistles will make sure that hopefully at the end of the day, if needed, they'll get me home, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so super important. Um, so let's dive into life jackets for a second, if yeah. it's okay with you. Sure. Um, right now, the one I'm wearing is an inherently buoyant life jacket. So if I fall in the water, uh, this is going to keep me afloat, and hopefully I'll be able to get to the bank. Okay, okay. The one you're wearing is an inflatable life jacket. A little different. It's a lot different, yeah. So if you go into water with that, you're going to have to pull this handle right here. And hopefully, if you read the instructions and it has a CO2 cartridge in it, it'll go off. That might be automatic okay. as well. So it could go off on itself, but these are engineered yeah. right devices, and usually things that are engineered tend to fail. Okay. This won't fail. That one. Yeah. You're good to um, go. I know we don't want to be seen when we're hunting, okay? But visibility is everything. You know, these have reflective stripes right here. Mm -hmm. If yours goes off, you know, maybe the backside of it is a yeah, different maybe. color, or it could be black. Mm -hmm. So I can't stress enough, if you're in the water and you're wearing waders and you're duck hunting, right? And you got your shotgun over your shoulder, this is something that's so simple and it won't hinder your sights, it won't hinder your shot, right? So right. it is so important, it's 160 bucks. And even if you're not in a boat, okay? Even if you're just wading out in the river or whatnot, Wear a life jacket. Unfortunately, in Oregon, we've had fatalities, and, and uh, I would say one or two a year where if someone is crossing a river, the Wilson or the Trask, mm. and they're hunting, and they trip, and they go down, and their waders are full of water, and that's it. We don't see them again. Or they're recovered yeah. a week later, and unfortunately, they're deceased. So please wear a life jacket, okay? It's so, so basic and simple. So this, Beth, is something else that uh, we have, um, we being my family, this is called an EPIRB. Are you familiar okay. with these? I'm not. Okay, so you can get these on Amazon. Okay. Uh, this is an ACR rescue link. And what you do is when you buy this, you register it with NOAA, N-O-A-A.gov. Uh, mm -hmm. Put all your information there, emergency contacts. This can be used anywhere in the world. So what happens is if I fall down, get hurt, mm -hmm. if I fall in the water, or if you just need assistance, you pull out this antenna right here, super easy. You just hold it above your head and clear view of the sky and press this button. Okay. And it sends a signal to a satellite, right? And then that satellite, someone's sitting there in a the desk, gets that signal and says, mm -hmm. oh, Eddie needs help. Here's the emergency contacts. And those people start getting called. And it tells uh, the satellite exactly where I'm at. So, yeah. That's very handy. And Super cool, again, right? And worth it to have. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And not only that, too, but if, if you're, if you're uh, going to the mountain, for example, hiking, mm -hmm. skiing, snowboarding, after hunting season is over, this device will still work up there, obviously. Okay. So yeah, again, it's called an EPIRB. And there's also PLBs, Personal Locating Beacon. You can get those on Amazon or mm -hmm. go to Marine Store and they'll have them. Same exact thing. Okay. Yeah, but this is super handy. Fortunately, I've never had to use it. Yeah, I right? can see. Yeah, 
five-year battery life. So again, it's one of those uh, pieces of equipment that it's worth its weight in gold. So between the life jacket and that, you're less than 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would be shocked if your life isn't saved if you have to use either or. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it's called Eperb. Okay. Yeah. Great so to super, know. That super handy, right? Very much. And it's bright too, which is which is yes. always a bonus. Color, right? color is what we're about today. Exactly. <laughs> well, this if you're sitting on your boat hunting, you know what this is? What's this? It's a pad. Yeah. To or, sit on. or sea cushion, yeah, sea right? Cushion, yep. If you're in the woods and you were scouting out for months trying to find that nice buck and it's mm -hmm. just not there, you can sit on this and be a little bit more comfortable. Be a little more comfy. But this is a throwable device. Uh, it's required in Oregon to be on a majority of boats out in the water. Um, again, super affordable. Okay. But what's nice about this, you can hang it up in your boat. So if I was hunting along this bank right now and mm -hmm. I left the boat, I would just put this on the boat in the corner. So if another person came around, they could see that there's a boat here. Yeah. They're not going to wake me. Um, if I fall in the water, this is going to be hard to get if I'm in the water. But if you're with me and I fall in, you just throw it to Toss me. It to you. Yeah, and I can grab onto it. Okay. And hopefully you can throw me a line and um, bring me back to the boat or yeah. I can just walk up to the bank. But yeah, super handy to have. Okay. Yep. Throwable multi -use. device. Yeah, multi use. Cool. And um, something else to keep in mind here is a whistle, mm. noise making device. Okay, I have one right here in my life jacket. You can put this in your pocket. You can keep it with your ammunition mm -hmm. when you're hunting. I mean, whatever you want to do, but this is super loud. So again, if I fall in the water, even if I get lost in the woods, all right, this right here, you're going to scare the game away. Right. Sorry about that. But you're Can't saving that. your life. But you're saving your life, yeah. right, Beth? That's exactly right. You're saving life. So again, whistle, throwable, life jacket. These are all basic things that you can order. You can have them overnighted to your house, you know, I mean, through Amazon or Quick whatever. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's just the basic safety things that can really help you be safe on the water. Awesome. Again, whether you're hunting, fishing, or boating. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is there anything else that people should keep in mind gear wise when you're thinking about hunting or angling? Yeah. So today's a great day. It was pouring maybe two hours ago, right? And now the wind came up and now we have some blue sky, but definitely uh, you want to be prepared for uh, layered clothing. Okay. You know, again, I understand that a lot of people like to wear camo. I have camo gear as well. But again, the visibility factor there with camo isn't the safest thing in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please wear something reflective. Um, there is one thing I want to talk about is a float plan. You know, you don't want to give away your hunting spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want to give away your fishing spot. We don't ever want to do that, but you need to tell somebody where you're going. Right. Okay. Whether that's a text before you lose cell phone reception mm -hmm. uh, or a simple phone call to somebody that you actually trust and cares about you. Who's going to check, might, check up might, on you. Yeah. You might call yeah. the wrong person. Uh -huh. like, oh, you know. <laughs> but make sure you tell somebody where you're going what your plan is, mm -hmm. what time you got there if you have cell phone reception, yeah. and then definitely tell them when you're back at your truck or car mm -hmm. and you're heading home. Yeah. yeah, because I can't tell you how many times in our agency, person last seen at this location, no idea where they were going, hours passed, yeah. now search and rescue was called and it's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. So please, please, please file, uh, file a float plan or just okay. uh, some kind of a, a phone call to somebody. Yeah, you know, let them know what your what your deal is and when you're home safe. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah. What are some of the main things that people forget when they get out on the water? That's what a, are some of the common things that you see? That's an awesome question. Yeah. Uh, number one is life jacket, and it, and it really is. And I'm not mm -hmm. just saying that because because we're in the business of saving lives, yeah. but it truly is life jacket. And not only it, it, it's a matter of them not uh, having one, it's not wearing it. Mm. I, I just can't grasp the concept of you have something that is designed to save your life and you choose not to wear it. Mm -hmm. And it's so basic. So life jackets, number one. Yeah. And then okay. again, something simple like a whistle would be number two. That's what people forget a lot of times. Okay. So yeah. So definitely, um, you know, please, please bring it, wear it, learn how to use it, read the instructions. Yeah. It yeah. won't do you any good if it's sitting over here and you go in. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the weather has changed just a little bit in just the few <laughs> minutes that we've been standing here. I put on a rain jacket. Yeah. Uh, could we talk a little bit about seasonal changes throughout the year for people who are boating year round? What should they keep in mind as the seasons change? Because here in Oregon, things change fast mm -hmm. and there's big differences between summer and fall and we're entering the super rainy season right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Beth. You know, it's, it's that ongoing joke. It's like, if you don't like the, don't, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes, right? <laughs> so yeah. Um, so point in case is what color is your, your, your rain jacket? It's black. Yeah, so, so I think the bottom line is uh, things happen, especially in October in Oregon, fast, right? Mm -hmm. um, the rains come in, the currents get faster, the water temperature drops, the ambient temperature drops. So again, it's, a, it's that safety component. You need to factor all that in. Mm -hmm. uh, we want you to be seen. 
whether you're hunting, fishing, or boating, you need to be seen, right? So let's go right. back to the life jackets real quick, okay? okay? If you're duck hunting, um, that is a, a, a great thing to wear. A lot of people might be concerned if I'm waiting and I get a little deep, it might go off. These really need to go underwater, mm. uh, a, a pretty good depth for them to go off. Okay. But if they do go off, you know, this, this yeah. is kind of the black and blue component there. Um, my life jacket right here, my inflatable, if this goes off, you're going to kind of see a, a green bladder, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, and this, there we go. Would Perfect. This yeah. come out Absolutely. and the screen would be seen. Yep, that would be seen. Yeah, so that's that's a great example right there, especially behind your neck. Make sure you have some reflective striping back there, okay. right? Um, so we'd rather have you wear a life jacket, right, that's dark than not wear a life jacket at all. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. So, so definitely be seen. And, you know, you can go on websites, NOAA, again, uh, and you can check the, the, um, the flows of the water for that weekend or when your trip's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, InReach is another great device. Back to hunting. Yeah, so we talked right. about EPIRBs, but uh, right. I'm hearing through the grapevine at InReach, right? Everyone's using that right now when they're yeah. out hunting. That's a great thing to use. Um, you obviously don't need cell phone service. You can mm -hmm. talk to uh, your friends back at camp or whatever the case is, let them know where you are. So that's a really good device to make sure uh, people know where you yeah, are. Yeah, I know a lot of people who use it, you know, even for hiking. I see them on the trail, yeah. got it on their backpack. Yeah. So it seems yeah. really, really popular. Yeah, yep. So far I'm hearing great things about it. Technology's okay. been around for a while and it seems to work. Cool. Yeah. Is there anything else people should consider? Um, winter weather considerations when you're boating? You know, that's, you got great questions today, <laughs> Beth. Yeah. Um, we're in a metal boat right now, right? Uh, aluminum, mm -hmm. ice. That's a big one, okay. especially on the banks. You know, I mean, when that temperature drops below 32 for a little while, mm -hmm. you're going to start to get ice build up on the rocks, on the boats. So just be careful. You need to be vigilant. Don't rush. Um, I, I hear through the grapevine, a lot of accidents happen before someone even left home, mm -hmm. right? You get up, you can't find this, right? You get in the car, you forgot this, right? The kids aren't cooperating with you and you're just losing your mind and mm -hmm. it's already a bad day. Yeah. And then you get to the boat or you get to wherever you're going to be hunting, you know, and your mind's not in the, in the, in the A game and that's when things happen. Mm. So from the moment you get up, just prepare yourself, take your time. And again, back to that question. Uh, when we first started talking was what do I need to do what do I have to have to get home to my friends and family that night yeah find the answer to that and you'll probably be safe for the day absolutely yeah well thanks so much for chatting and answering all these questions we covered some really good stuff and we appreciate it yeah you got it Beth again thanks for having us be safe you know have fun enjoy Oregon everything we have to offer it's a wonderful place to live work and play awesome so, yeah